He lived a normal life for a while, but that all changed that all changed the day he came. He was his mother priority, and now her pride and joy wasn't her baby boy. Instead it was an older man, mommy's boyfriend. He wasn't nice and he loved to fight. At first it was just with mommy, and that wasn't alright. But what was he supposed to do? He was seven, and seven year olds should be pretending to fight, not fighting for their life. A few months go past and it still wasn't alright. Mommy was broken and her and he was not afraid to hurt her pride and joy. Every night was just another fight, a fight only he could win. No one even had a chance. His hands around their his, their throats, his voice rattling the walls, the hit, the screaming, the hitting, the kicking, and yet no one noticed a thing. No one noticed the bruises. No one cared to ask, was this little boy all right? As his grades started to slip, falling asleep in class was just a normal everyday thing. The teacher didn't care to understand and said, she said he was going to fail. She didn't take the time to tell him, to ask him why. He was just a little boy. And how was he supposed to know this wasn't all right? After years of being called a troublemaker and a waste of time, he wasn't sure if he could win this fight. Everyone around him didn't care and never allowed him the chance to speak his mind. By this time, it was the worst it had ever been. Drugs and sex had been mis mixed in. If this little boy was a pawn on websites, his parents were cashing in. In the basement, he sat naked and cold. More men would enter and beat him, sometimes even taping and raping him, before leaving him there alone in the darkness under the stairs. When he was 14, his life was over. He did drugs just to get the day over. He didn't... His grades were low because he didn't show. His mom was a druggie laying on the basement floor. He was still there in their life, too. He had ruined her. He had made her not all right. He wasn't cashing in so much anymore. So that meant the little boy had to do more. He wasn't the one being raped anymore. He was the rapist forced into it. He didn't see himself as a victim and he hated himself too much to be living. Finally, at age 15, he couldn't handle it anymore. No more running away, no more snorting unknown street drugs. He had to help find help or he was gonna lose this ongoing fight and he didn't know who to go to. So he went to the only person he trusted, school guidance counselor. She listened while he cried. She promised him things would turn out all right. That day he came clean about everything and she just sat there in disbelief. The police were called, his mom was taken and he was gone too. The boy thought it would be all right. He thought he had won this fight. Foster care and orphanages were just as bad. His mom was still a druggie and he still had no dad. What was he supposed to do? He had no one to turn to. He tried his best, but he knew. He knew it was too late and that he couldn't be saved. And that's when he didn't make it to his 16th birthday.